Well, friends, I have been reluctant to say anything that could be construed as political on this channel, but it appears that an assassination attempt has been made on the life of Donald Trump, and these are perilous times for our nation. Crazy things are happening all around us, and if you look throughout the Bible, the Bible didn't hesitate to speak about political situations, political issues. You look through the prophets, kings are named, rulers are named, um, because really politics uh, intersect with our daily lives, and uh, this idea of the separation between uh, politics and religion is really more of a, a modern idea, and so the Bible is wasn't reluctant to speak about political issues. But it appears that a assassination attempt has been made on the life of Donald Trump. The reports that we have now are very, very early, very uh, in, in the early stages of reporting, and so some of this may change, but it appears that four or five shots rang, rang out, um, and Donald Trump was pushed down by Secret Service, comes up with a, a bloody ear. It's not clear at this point if that ear was shot, but that might be the most likely explanation based on the information that we have right now. I want to tell you four responses as Christians that I think that we should have right now. Number one, we should be praying. We need to pray uh, not only for uh, Donald Trump, but the nation as a whole. We need to pray the political climate is such that violence is is right at our door. And I think so many of us has, have grown up in a country that has been relatively peaceful. I mean, we've seen some terrible things, but for the most part, we haven't seen war within our borders. Um, you know, some of us could go back to 9-11, but um, w w sometimes we might not realize how close we could be to great violence erupting all over our nation. Number two, I think this is time for us to look introspectively. As a nation and as Christians, it's time for us to repent of the evil that's been in our hearts, to repent of the political evil that's been committed, to repent of our pride, our arrogancy, thinking that we can do this without God. We need to repent. Number three, we need to recognize Jesus' lordship. This is time for us to realize that the Democrat Party, the Republican Party, they are not our Savior. Jesus is our Savior, and He is Lord of all. He's going to raise up whomever He will. He will put down kings. He will raise up kings. He rules in the affairs of men, and we need to recognize His Lordship. And whether you're on the right or whether you're on the left, the, the right won't save us. The left won't save us. We need Jesus. We need to recognize His Lordship and proclaim Him as Lord. Number four, it might be tempting for some of us, you might guess, that my political inclinations are on the right, and I'm a very conservative person in my political outlook, but we cannot at this moment embrace the tools of the enemy and look towards violence. We must eschew that evil right now. We must be um, wise as serpents and harmless as doves, so it's time for us to pray, repent, recognize Jesus as the Lordship, eschew violence, and I want to invite you in the comment section. This is all fresh. This is, is happening right now as I'm speaking. Uh, please give us some good, wise counsel in the comments. Maybe you have some uh, fresh perspective on this, but please, let's keep the comments edifying and building up one another in love in Christ. That's all I have for you today.